What is going on, Governor? It's just cool here, and today we're back with more KVK action. Still battling over this ridiculous bridge. This is not even the end of the battles that will happen over this bridge. If you like KVK videos, you should definitely like and subscribe because we've got a ton of those coming up from our experience in KVK, and we are a sponsored creator in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, let's talk for a moment about why this footage, which is from the first 24 to 48 hours of KVK, is still very, very important to watch. Because let me tell you, there is so much to learn <laughs> from watching other people be at war. It is unbelievable how much better you can get at playing the game just by watching other players. And I myself am learning a whole heck of a lot about choices I had made and things I would do better. Um, and I put a lot of time thinking about this stuff, so hopefully you learn something too. Anyways, rally in, hitting a flag. We scout it, and we've caught some folks out of position, stranded in a flag. This should be particularly particularly savage if it doesn't get reinforced and bada boom it hasn't 27,000 dead for us 154,000 dead for the defender ouch that is pretty darn tough Whew. Uh, we've got the video footage playing at 2x speed for the combat 1x speed for the reports now this bridge became a huge headache for us for a long period of time we're queuing up the next rally this time with minamoto focusing on single target damage and another rally is in hitting a flag it's really just there to keep the darn thing burning and it is burning noon is going to come out though and hit these players which man this is going to put a lot of folks in the hospital um that player che Guevara is a player that I really enjoyed playing with, was in Marv, joined Legion, uh, and now is in Kingdom 50, so go figure. Go figure. Um, so as I was saying, there's a lot to learn from watching the footage, and you know, even sometimes I don't understand, like, why did I make certain choices? So I like to sort of watch in and sort of check those out. Here you can see folks are coming to reinforce my rally, but they're getting killed on the way in. This is a big, big problem. This is the bridge problem now in full effect. I honestly almost should have teleported over to the other side of the bridge. In fact, I should have teleported over in hindsight. See, this is why we watch the videos. In hindsight, it's easy to see how I should have teleported to the other side of the bridge so it'd be easier for folks to actually reinforce my rally. And the folks that are on the north side, or the, I guess really I mean the west side of the bridge, could then just go to Bujan City and reinforce the rally from there. That's definitely the way we should have handled that. Learning is happening. Now, we're going to scout this structure in a moment, and I think it's going to be empty. So we're going to honey badger, send some troops over. We don't even have a full march of T5 infantry at this point. Um, we got a lot of dead troops here. Uh, we're down over 2 million power just in dead troops, which is uh, <laughs> pretty significant. And we're going to hit this flag because it's empty. It's freaking empty. Everybody's asleep at the wheel. We get a free 10-minute burn on this bad boy. Bada boom. However, some T5s making it a less than free burn. We're going to make our way back over to uh, Bujan City. And, you know, look. Look, here's the thing. Expertise, Richard and Martel, they're made for that sort of thing. How many troops do we have injured from that? Like, 3,000 T5s and 10,000 T4s, totally worth it to get the free burn. Totally worth it to get the free burn. We scout this bad boy, and is there anybody in it? I don't know. Oh, we crashed. Now, this is awkward when you're leading rallies and you crash, because sometimes you come back online and your rally's in flight. In this case, my freaking rally's in flight. Now, it looks like there's actually a player who went into the darn thing. Now we go and check it out. Who is there? Uh, that's a Mehmed II. It's... Honey Badger Noon with Cavalry. I think that was an Expertise Khan as the backup, which is a pretty beast combo. Mehmed and Khan. And yeah, if this doesn't get reinforced, we're going to do serious work. But it is getting reinforced. And this just got super real. 
Um, we did get some pretty fierce value at the start of that, but I don't know how long that value is going to last for now that this flag is filling up. And the commander choices that they've got are definitely, I think it's a stronger pairing than what we've got. Assuming they have all cavalry, and I think they do. No, they have infantry. Well, that would have been way better for them if they could get full cavalry. Oh, and by the way, I do feel like it's just not such a great choice, Khan, as a defender of a flag, because someone's going to mess up that decision for what goes into the flag. Anyways, 128,000 dead for us, 229,000 dead for them, including a bunch of T5s that actually went incredibly well. Okay, cool. I'm surprised there wasn't more swarming on the rally there. Anyways, um, let's pick this thing back up to 2x speed. I think we're going to get some more rallies going in a moment. In fact, there is another rally down to the left. Is that going to be defended? Uh, well, I guess we'll find out in a second. Let's get our rally queued up. Let's get our rally queued up. Are we going to use Yi Song Ye? Martel's definitely not the pick. There we go. Okay, we'll go Winamoto. That's fine. Rally in. Looks like that other flag was undefended. And let's get a closer look at this report. Uh, we can see the dead troops there. Zishan had a bunch of T5 that ended up dying. That's kind of interesting. Um, Evil Noon. Scott, wow. 66k T5. But the thing is, killing his troops kind of doesn't matter because he doesn't care. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Um, and now the bridge problem is back in full force. I think we really needed, like, first of all, if I had five full armies of T5, I would really need to be all over that bridge helping out in order to hold that thing down. Ugh, bridge. I feel like I've talked about bridges for a lifetime. By the way, I just marked up the pass for us to take it. It was very awkward transitioning the pass back and forth between two alliances. I mean... In my perfect world, we probably would have stuck to just one of those passes instead of trying to go for two. That was another really interesting mistake, um, in my opinion. We should not have held two passes with our alliance. Anyways, we scout these flags, and they look really, really attackable, except for that one. That does not actually look particularly attackable. If they reinforce it, that's going to be an issue. Our rally's in. We're calling for reinforcements. This could get... This could get dicey fast. Looks like Dog City is sending a bunch of siege units. I mean, look, they have been defending the flag a number of times. If you've done that a number of times, I totally get why you'd want to send siege. It gets a little bit disgusting after you have a lot of troops die, and if you're one of the very active players in a defense. Reinforcements are coming into this rally, and this is bad. Yi Song Ye has been swapped in as the captain, which means Bujan is taking some deaths here, which is not good. That is really, really not good. I look, do I need to cancel the rally? We've got reinforcements coming, but they're kind of from... Oh, no, they're close enough. The rally's looking okay. Bujan's now out of the way, so I feel better about keeping this rally going. Um, and hopefully we get some reinforcements here. This, is, this does not look great. They switch it up to Richard and Charles. Um, so now they're using that same technique that I have been advocating for quite a while of swapping the captains based on, you know, what you need, the AOE, or if you need single target. Um, obviously, Richard Charles for single target. And then Yi Song Ye with Sid if you need AOE. We cancel the rally. I did not think this was going well. Let's look at the report. We have 116,000 dead. They have 133,000 dead. So it was going okay for us, but really not as good as I would have hoped it to be going, quite frankly. Would hope for that to go a little bit better, and we're on our way back to our city. You know, the another reason why we're sending less troops than, you know, a full march. Ooh, another rally. Another reason we're sending less troops than a full march is because we're the first troops in. And being the first troops in means that you're going to have more of your troops die. Ooh, we caught somebody. This is either real or we caught somebody. Sawyer canceled the rally. Interesting choice. I think he could have. I think he could have kept that going. It looks like now we're stepping up to rally it. We are rocking Minamoto secondary and Isolnye primary. This is an interesting combo. I feel like maybe Barka is a better choice as the primary. Barka might be a better choice than Isongye, but we're going to give it a shot. This is still pretty darn early in KVK, so it's time to still test stuff out and learn what works and what doesn't, you know? We see a bunch of uh, reinforcements going in. We scout it. We like that there's an epic commander as the secondary. That's definitely hittable. 
So we're going to give this a shot. We're going to give this a shot. We notice, hey, there's a city over there. There's a city over there that's not belonging to Alliance. It's totally rallyable. That might be a thing that happens. Not in this video, but uh, might happen soon. Scout is going in. What do they got? Mixed troops with infantry commanders, proper infantry, it looks like. So this, this could be dicey. This could be dicey. I would feel very good about this if we had Elsid and full archers. I would feel very, very good about this. And they launched a rally on my rally. Now that's smart. Haven't seen a lot of that up to this point because it's just so darn crazy. So here we go. The madness begins. Who's winning this contest? I don't know. Hard to say. I feel like we're doing work, honestly. But it's it's hard to say. Folks are joining the flag. Yeah, I think we're winning this contest. This is looking good. Archers joining up in the rally. But now Noon is swarming it, which is going to get out of hand fast. A part of the reason for that is that the debuffs are going to be really fierce. And we see Noon is actually... What is he using? Oh, I thought he had a Joan of Arc in there, but he doesn't. Um, for every army that's hitting this rallied army, we're going to take 2% extra damage, which is no bueno. Um, and it's also a little bit intimidating to reinforce our rally from this position, but we see we do have a lot of reinforcements coming in. I think we keep it for now, especially because we've got Isong Ye to do AoE damage, which, like, pfft, we should inflict a lot of wounds on those armies that are all around us. We are definitely in the dominant position right now for this particular rally, I think, but if we don't get reinforcements in a moment, we've got to cancel. We're down to less than a million. Uh, it might be time to cancel. Yeah, I think it's cancel time. Okay, do it. Cancel. Whew. Okay. Let's get a look at this report. I feel like it started off really well and then went poorly. 182,000 dead for us, 181,000 dead for them. Technically, yeah, that's a contest we win because they have a bunch of severely wounded troops on top of all that, but that was not going particularly well given that we're up against two whole kingdoms into our one. We really need to be getting super positive trades as much as possible. Yeah. So my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this shorter installment. This is going to be the last of the bridge videos for now, but trust me, <laughs> we'll be back to these bridges for more madness in the not too distant future. If you like KVK videos, you should like and subscribe. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.